It's coming. Why you mess it up? Why you mess it up? I'm sorry. You're fired. Get out of here. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver's here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken folks, what are we talking about today? Man, what are we talking about today? Man, I uh, remember a few days ago, we had uh, Representative Bowman in AOC was out here campaigning and making some noise. What's up, everybody? We are just a few days out to the election day, our primary election on Tuesday, June 25th. But the good news is that the polls are open right now, and we are here for our brother, Jamal Bowman. We want to turn out the vote. I don't care if you live in New York 16 and are turning out to vote for him. I don't care if you live outside New York 16. We are texting our friends. We are turning out. We are calling our friends in Tuckahoe, in White Plains, in New Rochelle, in Yonkers, and telling them to vote for Jamal Bowman. And he lost. <laughs> what? But the funny part about it is his, his, his hype man, AOC. Let's take a look at Miss AOC hyping up the crowd. Go. Yeah, there she goes. Now, Trump comes in and had rappers come to endorse him. But AOC got Cardi B music in the background. And she's hopping around, jumping around like a fool. What is this? Like a cl straight clown. And she's the, uh, this is a representative. This is somebody you're supposed to take serious. This is a congresswoman jumping up and down like a knucklehead. And look at Bowman. Look at Bowman. Look at how he's dressed. And look how he talks to the crowd. And to get fucking big money out of politics. The power of the motherfucking South Bronx. They are spending more money than has ever been spent in American history, y'all. But they are the money. We are the mighty. We are going to show fucking impact. The power of the motherfucking South Bronx. People ask me why I got a foul mouth. What am I supposed to do? You coming after me? You coming after my family? You coming after my children? I'm not supposed to fight back. I'm not supposed to fight back. We gonna show them who the fuck we are. I don't remember who is Bowman. This is a knucklehead that during the um, Congress um, session, he goes out and pull the fire alarm. See fire now, I guess. I don't know what the hell he was doing. But yep. He pulls the fire alarm and nothing happened to him. You know, that's against the law. That's a federal offense. But again, he just got to and let him keep it moving. But the people of New York, the Bronx said, get your ass out of here. Go sit down somewhere. So 
All that hopping, hooping, hollering, nobody want to hear that. You didn't give out no solutions to nothing. Cease fire now. That's all you had. And we want to keep calling for a permanent ceasefire. And look at him grabbing his chair like he about to throw it in the crowd. Like this is some rap concert. What is wrong with these people, man? You know, straight phonies. But I hope <laughs> that look at this. Look at this guy. He's supposed to have a live feed during the um, elections yesterday. And look, the, the audio is bad. But look at the way he's carrying himself. He's screaming at you people for not voting for him. Number one, it's coming. Why are you messing up? Why are you messing up? Damn, I'm in the zone up here. Before I get to that. <laughs> God damn. I am so glad that you're gone. And next up, I hope somebody primary AOC, you know, and get her ass out of here too. Because she's a knucklehead. And I'm tired of her. I'm tired of this. You notice that you never see AOC ever debate a uh, adult. You never see her debate an adult. It's always she goes to kids. She goes to high school. And she talks to them. You never see AOC debate anybody over 21. Anybody over 20 because she's a child herself. Look at this. Look at how she's walking around screaming at people. Y'all take her serious? Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads. Get your ass off my lawn.